All right, welcome everyone back to my channel and back to Freelancer Discovery. This is a little bit of a weirder video. I'm sorry. Um, I'm recording at a very late night. I know nobody cares, but uh, let me just get into it. There's something I noticed about this update, the Discovery Patch 5.0. Um, so there has been a couple changes. We did a stream, uh, I think like two streams or three, I, f I forgot about this and um it was fun but it was a little buggy and there's some stuff that are still being worked on but um here's the thing when people ask about um the economy right now i think there's a lot of confusion going on with the uh, economy i just realized um you know i used to have oh shit it's loading <laughs> i used to have you know um 1.1 1 .1 billion on some account and another account billion another billion and then i think here i had like 300 million or something and it got really diminished to like 3 million and i saw like 11 million and i was like yo what the fuck is going on right and then i checked the uh, trade routes and i was like yo 26 for a cigar and then 60 on planet new berlin that's like not a lot what's going on right i was like questioning stuff then i realized uh, i asked around a little bit so everything got diminished by a hundredfold right so when i had 1.1 billion it got dropped to 11 million but all the ships economy have been adjusted to that too now keep in mind the economy is not fully implemented yet uh that's also another thing that we're waiting on um but here's the thing ships right now cost a lot more different a lot like less than they used to okay i don't know about these <laughs> one one million but i saw like the uh, border world transport uh that one costed like 900k and it used to cost something around 35 million or something and now it's like it costs less uh, ships don't have an armor system anymore the uh, armor system has been gotten rid of they have a base armor and that's what that's it that's its maximum armor you, you don't have a cow aid you know capital armor upgrade you don't have a regular armor upgrade that got everything got uh, as, as far as like armor goes has gotten rid of so you when you buy your ship you got it you get it with what you know the base armor and that is a pretty vanilla approach if you ask me i, I didn't not expect discovery to go this way um we had a similar plan in aftermath where we wanted to do it from the get-go because it, obviously it's a new mod right so you could adjust the economy already from start but on discovery this kind of feels a little bit like a hard reset it's not a hard reset though because obviously 3 million feels like 3 million now. You actually own 3 million. It feels a little bit more special. Um, but the first person who gets to 1 billion, that motherfucker is going to be like running serious or something. You know what I mean? They're going to own the entire ship industry, whatever it is, right? So uh, having a billion now will feel a lot more special. And if you have a billion uh that feels like you have a, a trillion or something you know what i mean like later on not really a trillion but you know what i mean so because the game uh capped at 2.1 billion or else it'll crash now this is kind of fixed with this new economy because like maybe if someone has 500 million that'll already feel like 5 billion right or actually more right i think at this point 50 million is 5 billion like the old five billion uh so there is that um there's a couple i don't know if there has been an uh, economy update threat i haven't found one but uh just for you guys to know um if you see this thir 30 credits here and 85 at planet crit Om omicron gamma um don't get shocked be like what the fuck man this sucks right um no it's actually you know the economy has been adjusted by like a hundred times less right and obviously the uh, full economy system isn't implemented yet i don't know what exactly the plan was but i heard something about like pobs uh, player-owned bases will have will be able to like you know sell goods 
uh, accept goods, buy goods. So there's going to be like a large uh, player economy at play here. Play maybe a little bit inspired by EVE Online, but not really a copy. I think it's a little bit more different, but I think that's what the plan was. Um, just, um, I don't know if like every ships have been adjusted or maybe these ships are just special ships. They used to be, they used to cost that much. I don't know why this one, why a light fighter costs 1.4 million. I don't know what the uh, idea behind that is, but you know, it is what it is. A civilian carrier is 18 million. It used to cost, you know, um, let me actually show you here real quick. If I can get into the transports Wikipedia. All right, um, let's actually check in here. This is this should still have the old stats. Oh yeah, there you go, 500 million. See, um, a buster used to cost around 500 million, and now in game it costs like 18 million. So you see, there's like a large price drop. So just so you're aware of that. Um, okay, so that's that's that much for economy. I don't I don't have much more information out of that. If I get more information, I'll. You know um, um update you guys on that um other than that obviously one point it, its base hell a hole was 1.2 million now it's around six million three hundred twenty thousand that means a uh, cow eight is already slapped on it you don't you have to like you know what i mean you don't have to buy a armor upgrade separately these ships have their armor what it is and i think i like that because usually when you see armor upgrades on like different games you feel like a change a visual change right this one never had a visual change you could pull like a cap 8 and it'll still be the same shit so uh just as for like base armor i think also balance wise uh nobody has to fucking hoard for for a fucking cap 8 anymore now everyone st uh, starts at an equal plane you know uh base armor it is what it is if you're if you're you know just because someone is more rich doesn't you know uh someone that is more rich won't be um you know over won't be overwhelming you because he has a better armor now you both have the same armor you just have to have the credits to buy this ship also it says a battle cruiser here interesting I just, uh, let me just let me just check this real quick Cruiser oh, this is actually this has actually been re-balanced uh, into a, an actual battle cruiser. I did not know that the Buster is now a battle cruiser. I'm actually curious. Can a freelancer fly a Buster? Cannot use cruisers, battleships, or ships with more than three. Uh, except lane and prior train. Yeah, okay. A freelancer cannot fly a Buster anymore. So a Buster is pretty much like a generic battle cruiser now. That everyone can use and yeah, like every other faction can use if they don't want to use their main cruiser i like that okay that's cool okay so that's like economy update uh if you want to know a little bit of a personal update uh i am not leading scra anymore i have given the leadership back to gregor and but i'm still in high command but i have kind of left my chains you know what i mean i've, I've like break broken my chains <laughs> I'm gonna play all sorts of factions. Uh, I just want to chill a little bit more, you know. Uh, yeah, leadership. I think I'm just growing a little bit too old for this. Uh, so right now, I just want to see like different factions how it, how they go. I don't know how like the whole nanobot thing plays. I thought they have a base amount of nanobot too now. So it's like, hold on, let me just check this real quick. I hope the game doesn't crash. Okay, here we go. So. Uh, interesting. No nanobots. Okay, never mind. I thought I thought I saw nanobots on some some of these. Maybe wrong. Uh, cannot use cruisers, battleships, or ships with more than four thousand three. So that means I actually have to give up. Uh, this battle cruiser too, because bounty hunters can't use it. Wow, well, okay. Well, I guess they'll be changing that. I actually like that. Bounty Hunters... Um... They're not supposed to fly caps because they're mostly in house space. Uh, so they, they'll just do their job with a bomber wing, etc. Gunboats. Uh, I think the... 
faction that can fly a capital ship's core, but the core does not have access into house space, so it's like a little bit of a balance there. Okay, that has nothing to do with economy though, okay? So I'll leave you guys at that, okay? And, um, you know, back in the day, you used to be able to maybe ship ore from one point to another and get 50 million if you had a 5k transport plane. Uh, now that is a little bit less, obviously. Uh, 50 million, if you do that a hundredfold, you'll probably get something around uh, 500k or something, probably 500k, 50k, 50, 500k, something around that, which I think is still good. Well, we'll see actually. I don't know exactly how much they do. I'll keep you guys updated on that front, okay? Well, that's it for this video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, you know, you can subscribe if you want to see more freelancer content. Uh, I'll be definitely milking this a little bit because <laughs> I want to see, I just want to see what differences are there now in Discovery. Because we wanted to do with, what we wanted to do with Freelancer Aftermath was an approach to vanilla. And I feel like with a little bit of this update, this is kind of going, uh, into the vanilla vanilla space not exactly what is it we also got a discovery nav map update by the way if you guys want to check that out you can uh this is a the fully updated map um as you can see omega 52 is again again uh what was that called a connector and it used to be uh kind of like a guard system like dublin is dublin does not have a connection into the omegas anymore now dublin is its own kind of like separated system here uh picardy orleans like some some uh, gallic systems have been connected to each other so that it only feels like you do like two or three like four jumps three jumps and you're back in the towers if you're in the Omer omicrons if you go to the omicrons from the towers there's like nice connections here if you want to go to rhineland from towers boom champagne zurich cologne and you're in rhineland right so okay so yeah we'll be checking all these system out too systems out too so uh stay tuned for that all right see you guys on the next video bye bye